Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shawcraft One at my old barn door, and I am here to add some journals to the booth for Miss Kathy Baldwin. I'm sorry about the camera shake. My camera's going crazy. Apologize for that. So she sent me some super cute little mini journals, and then I have two big journals in a box over there. So I'll bring those out last, but I figured we'd go ahead and do the little mini journals. So let's just get started and see what she sent us. Okay, this one, super cute. Oh, sorry about the camera shake. Oh my goodness, I'm just going to have to not move this table at all. <laughs> okay, let's see. This one is called the Dried Fall Flowers Mini Journal. Um, the size is two and a half, so two and a half by three and a half, and it has 23 pages. So let's just take a peek. So it looks like she's done, I'm not sure, I think this is stamping. I believe that's what it is. And then she has a little piece of hessian down at the bottom. Hessian, burlap, super cute. So let's just take a peek. Okay, let me see if I can, I wanna sit the paper somewhere. I am outside. So if you hear the noises, that's why, but sometimes people tell me they can see and hear better if I do the videos outside. So, this is the first page, and she's got a little tiny little journal booklet in there for you, tucked in this little belly band. I'm going to try and hold it up where you can see, and I'm trying not to bump the table, but I don't think I'm doing a very good job. Okay, this one. Okay, so this is made out of a paper bag. There's some burlap there some burlap and lace, some more stamping, little belly band there with a little tuck in there, a little piece of ephemera, a little pocket there with a little piece of ephemera, a little belly band there and a couple of pieces of ephemera tucked in there. The, it looks like the center of the journal. Nope, it's not the center. Okay, sorry about the wind. I have the fan on because it's really hot outside. <laughs> okay. Okay, there's the center. Okay, that one's glued together. Little belly band there. Well, no, that's just a collage on the page. Little stamping there that she's got clipped on to the page. A little pocket here and a little piece of ephemera. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry about the camera moving. It's catching the wind from the fan. Sorry. Hopefully it won't be too bad. Stamping there and there. A little tuck there. there. So that one is called Dried Fall Flowers. Hang on and let me put this back together and I'll do the next one. Okay, so next we have this one. It's called Old Time Mini Journal. Super cute little tag picture on the front there. and She has it tied. Oh, let me get the measurements. Let's see. It is three and a half by two and a half and it has 13 pages. If we can slide our little tie off here. Okay, so she has a book page inside, music paper, and a little tuck there with a piece of ephemera. A little pocket there with a teeny tiny little tag. almost look like uh, maybe newspaper articles or something. Oh my goodness, this camera shake is going to drive me crazy. Okay, there's the center. A little doily and a little button here. Music page. Some collaging here. And then that one's a little stuck together. I'm not going to pull it apart. I'll let whoever gets it pull that apart. And then you have the sweet little tag with the vintage people 
on the back as well. So this one is called Old Time Mini. So hang on and let me put this back together and I'll get to the next one. Okay, we have this one next. It's called the Flowers Mini Journal. It's four by two and a half and it has 21 pages. Cute little tie that she's tied it with. I'm gonna see if we can slide it off. Okay, and I'll hold it up to, so you can see it. So she has the pretty flowers and a doily, music pages, a little tuck there with a tag. Little belly band there, and she's made a little journal booklet tucked in the belly band. She has some lace on the page there. Butterfly. This looks like a vintage handkerchief, maybe. A little ruffle there. And that's the center of the signature with a little piece there. Vintage uh, doily, it looks like. And then there's the other side of the vintage hanky. Some lace on the edge. Another sweet little ruffle. You have a little tuck there with a piece of ephemera. And that is the end of the journal there. So that one's called the Flower Mini. That's how you'll find it in my shop. Hang on and let me get this one put back together and we'll go to the next one. Okay, our next one is called the Daisies Journal. It is three and a half by three and a half. And it has 13 pages. Tied with this cute little tie here. I think it slips off. She's got the lace around the edge of the page and a pretty little flower made from the lace with doily. And I believe this is fabric on the front and the back. Collaging on the page. She's in a little belly band here with a little journal piece tucked there. A little tuck there with a couple of little journal pieces. Billy band there, and a little tuck there. Fabric on that page, music paper. Sweet little flower collage. Little pocket here with a little teeny tiny tag. Cute little decorated or embellished uh, paper clip there. A little envelope there, and that's got a little journal and page there for you. Here's the center of your signature. Little um, belly band there with a tag. I think that's just, I think that's glued down, so it may just be like a collage, but no, maybe it's not. And then a little tuck here with one of those cute little envelopes. Another little envelope with a piece of ephemera in there. Collage there, doily. This flips open. We have a paper clip here with a um, journaling card. Cute little envelope tucked on there with the paper clip. And that is the end of that journal. So this one's called the Daisies Mini Journal. That's how you'll find it in the shop. And I think I've got this on pretty quickly, so I think we can just go right to the next one. So this one, let's see. It's called Summer Flowers Journal. It's five and a half by four, and it has 24 pages in it. Excuse me for bumping the camera. It's tied with this pretty piece of lace here, and then you have a little lace pocket. Do I have this upside down? Yes, I do. Sorry, guys. <laughs> lace pocket. So you have a lace pocket on the front and back with a journal card tucked into each little pocket. little tuck there and this folds open oh a little pocket there with a tag pocket there with a tag and this is a pocket with a little tag it's like more like a belly band 
belly band there and a little piece of ephemera there. A little tuck there. Whoops. Then a belly band here with a little tag tucked in. And a pocket there with your journaling card. A little collage. Journaling card in that pocket and one in that pocket. Oops. Got some things trying to sneak out the back. There's the center of the signature and this is a full page pocket. Okay, and it has a little folding journal card tucked into that pocket. Journal card there. Okay, I think this is just a, a collage. fan is blowing everything. So this is the back of the journal. You have a little pocket there with a little tag. And then she's put these extra little pieces. This is like a little floating pocket and it's got this cute little paper clip on a journal card and then another little tag there. So that one is called Summer Flowers and that's how you find it in the shop. So let me put this one back together and I'll grab the big ones. Hang on. Okay, next up we have um, the sewing journal. She's calling this the sewing journal. She says it's filled with vintage items from the past. It's 11 by eight and a half, has 20 pages with jute binding and a book page is attached to thick brown paper for the journal cover and the back. So let's take a peek inside. Actually, I'm gonna flip the journal over. I'm gonna try and just pull this jute off little tie here okay maybe it's attached nope it's not okay so that's the back and she's put the little um do they call these eyelets i think i'm not sure but anyway super cute and then she has the little buttons here okay and it's tied put together with the jute twine so that's how it's bound so you have these um Sewing items throughout the page, lace on the edge here. Sewing items throughout the page, throughout the journal. Collaging here, that looks like an old book page. Looks like there's some, um, another one of the little, oh, hook and eyes, that's what they're called. I'm such a dork. <laughs> okay, so you have some, I'm not sure what this kind of paper is, but it's kind of cool. It's almost like a, Maybe a tracing paper or a pattern, some kind of old vintage pattern paper. We have a vintage page there that's a tip in. Sorry about the fan, guys. It's just really hot out here, but I know you guys can see better when I bring it out here. Got some um, little buttons there. Vintage sewing page. That flips up. The hook and eyes there. Oh, and this is a little booklet that she's made with lots of extra journaling room. These pages have like a, um, like a really waxy feel. I think they might be like some type of tracing paper or something that are used by a seamstress. Could be completely wrong because I'm not a seamstress and I don't know m that much about sewing. Very cool. Some more hooking eyes. Very colorful little journal. Some um, lace trim at the bottom here. It's a big book. It's hard to show it all in the camera. That's really neat. You know I'm a texture person and that has a lot of texture to it, so. Okay. So you have all different colors of these types of papers.
collaging on this page. There's another one of those old pages, and this flips open. It's like a little booklet. Some more hook and eyes, and some more of that pretty trim. Some collaging. Here's some more of these really cool textured pages, or waxy pages. Not real sure what to call them because I don't know what they are. Somebody will have to tell me in the description box or in the comments. Who oh, goodness, fan? Stop it. A little more little hooks and eyes. I love all the little vintage ephemera that she's used in here. These smell like wax. I can smell the waxy, whatever the waxy stuff is. Okay, and these are some type of little rings that they use. Oh, these are um, like eyelets, sort of. All of you seamstresses out there will have to correct me on my terms of use here, <laughs> or my use of terms, should I say lodging on these pages. The smell of this reminds me of my grandmother because um, she sewed a lot. So she did, uh, she will probably worked with these types of papers. And there's a little bit of like a vanilla smell to it. It smells good. Okay. Music page there. Vintage. And then some more of that ephemera. And that is the end of that journal. So this one's called the sewing journal. That's how you'll find it in my shop. Hang on and let me grab the last one. Okay, this is the last one. It's called Autumn Splendor. It's 11 by eight and a half and has 20 pages. It's bound with jute and tied with the orange bow. So, and then you have a sheet here with all the information that I will leave in the journal. So I'm going to see if I can slide off the orange bow. Okay, there we go. Okay, and it is attached, I think, or maybe it just slid under there. I'm not sure. Okay, it did. It just slid under there. Okay, and then you have the cover that looks like a file folder. She's got the um, burlap ribbon with the lace on the front. Little belly band here with a couple of tags. A little, um, uh, burlap decoration here with buttons and then a cute little clothespin there that holds on this little envelope and you have a tag that's decoupage with napkin in the envelope and then a cute little tip in there you have some of that lace fall blessings and this is a okay this is a pocket here is that how she had that? Yeah, it's got the little tag in it. I'm not gonna pull on that, but it's kind of stuck, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. Some collaging there. Oh goodness, some leaves here. A little picture frame. Another little picture frame here, and a tag and a pocket. <coughs> Excuse me, her right there. And then this is a little tuck here with a couple of tags in there. Lace on the side and another one of these envelopes on the little paper clip, not paper clip, it's a clothespin. I always do that. And then inside the envelope you have a little booklet and it's collaged on on the front. Let's see if I can get this back in here. little belly band here with a large size tag. Tuck there with a tag in there. Some lace down here at the bottom. There's the center of your signature. Okay, let me see if I can. Okay. Another one of those little envelopes with some goodies in it to play with. 
thinking maybe this was clipped to this page. So I'm just gonna clip that back there. Little pocket here, the tag. Little tag there and a tuck. Okay, now this is paper clip together. Let me see. So you have a little tag tied to the envelope. There's a little pocket there with the tag. And then on the back, you have some goodies tucked in there for you to play with and a little collage page. Wait a minute, we missed a page. Okay, there's a little tuck with a tag. And I think this is a tip in. Okay, so I'm gonna paper clip this back to the page if I can. Oh goodness. Okay, I think that's good. Little belly band here with a couple of tags. This is a tuck with a tag tucked in there. Collaging on the page and a little belly band with a tag. Belly band there. Not a belly band, it's a pocket with a tag. Lace here. Another little tuck. And a tag tucked into the bottom of the tuck. Tag here and it looks like it's attached to the page. And then in the very back, you have another one of those envelopes that she's decoupaged and decorated. And you have a pretty little card on the inside, pretty little autumn card on the inside. And this is the back of the journal. So this one, what did I say it was called? Autumn Splendor. So that's how you'll find it in my shop. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments or questions for me or Kathy, you can leave them in the comment box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you don't mind. And I hope y'all have a great day. Big hugs.